And just about to get underway as the starting fives have been announced. Richard Zitarza will be back in just a moment. Coming to you live on this Tuesday night, it's the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Doris Burke. Also joining us from the sidelines, David Aldridge. And for a look at how the competition stacks up right now. These, the new power rankings, they tell a great story. They're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. Well, right now for the Wildcats, they believe they can be more competitive than they've shown. It's still very early in the season, so the optimism for a successful run is still there. Now the starting group for the visitors. Collins is out there with Duncan. Then it's Bogues, then there's Rogers, and it's Paul in at the one spot. And for the Wildcats, they've got Gilbert Arenas, Iguodala out there with Aiton. Then it's Jefferson, and it's Stoudemire in at the one. Arizona to start out. Outside Jefferson. Here's Aiton. Jefferson kicks to Stoudemire. Down to five on the shot clock. And here's Arenas outside. Comes out of the gate empty. He's 0 for 1. Arenas against Bogues. Here's Paul. Drops it in from Chris 11 Paul. feet. We've heard the term master of the mid-range. To Chris Paul, it's apropos. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Well, I had a chance to talk with the head coach for the visiting team. He wants his guys to focus on jamming the perimeter shooters. He wants hard closeouts, no room to operate. He knows what this team can do if you give them any space on the outside to shoot. And they're going to be determined not to let that happen. Kevin? All right, David, foul thank foul you. Foul. Obviously, the three ball is a big concern for any defense. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. At the line for the away team. This is his Tim first Duncan. chance at the line tonight. Two shots. That one misses. Yeah, the quiet intensity that Duncan brings, j just incredible. He's a consistent force whose teammates really look up to. second free throw and just about a minute into the first quarter arenas against Bogues count the basket wow how about the start to this game taking excellent shots capitalizing on everything the defense is giving him this is great stuff now here's Paul last game we saw him score 13 yes that goes in uh, how about the ability to knife inside the defense? Chris Paul has been outstanding as a dribble driver his entire career. Here's Stoudemire. Last time out, he had 14 points. Aiton, the pass to Stoudemire. Jefferson kicks it over to Arenas. Drops in the tray. Arenas has got seven points. How about three of four up the floor to start? That's always a good sign. Here's Paul. Doesn't go for him. Excellent D there from Stoudemire. Here's Arenas. And he uses the glass on the way. Nine points in the game so far. You know, you're going to have success when you can start out shooting 80% from the game. So early offensively, they've been great. That's the way you like to start. Now, here's Bowles. Passes to Collins. 
Yeah, it's hauled in by Arizona. Well, when you're facing a team that's feeding off the crowd's energy, you have to bring your A game. They didn't do that. One thing you know, Greg, is you've got to pack your defense in the shoot case if you're going to win on the road, and they simply did not bring it. And here is Paul. Gilbert Arenas getting it to go from deep. That's, it's close, but, you know, they can get on balance quick enough. I don't care. It's making a switch here. Elliott's checked in. Collins passes it to Rogers. Paul dishes to Bogues. Over Aiton. And the rejection by Aiton. Boy, really tough to score on DeAndre Aiton. Such a patient shot blocker, guys. Outside Arenas. Let's it go from deep. It's hauled in by Duncan. Duncan's got his fourth rebound in this one. And the wide-open shot from Paul. That this one a tad off line to the right, but drops in for him. Good way to start this game. If you want to get him rolling as early as possible. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. Gotten three of eight shots to fall for them here in the first quarter. Bogues against Zigudala. Bogues the pass to Rogers. The turnaround jumper. Collins against Arenas. Pass to Aiton. Iguodala no good. Boy, nine times out of ten, that's going in. I'm sure he surprised himself with the miss. Rodgers passes to Duncan. Here's Paul. Got it for Chris his fourth Paul. field goal of the game Assist on just from. five shots. Tim Duncan. Arizona leading by three. Paul with the steal. Pass to Bowers. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And the Wildcats the other way now. And although they were the better team last year by overall record, this was a competitive matchup for them. Now here's Arenas. Last game, 26 points. Outside for Jefferson. Just five on the clock. Early at the bucket. He was very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Oh, Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Trying to snap them out of this. There's a little bit for a different look here. Channing Fries checked in for eight. Gordon comes in for Andre Iguodala. Jason Terry, he's checked in for Richard Jefferson. And Mike Bibby is subbed in for Gilbert Arenas. Count it. And there's Terry. Last time out, he had 13 points. Launches it. Another three for Arizona. Yeah, he does a great job uh, within their offense, especially when it comes to spotting the open man. Smith, the best to Johnson. Driving the lane. And a slam dunk by Johnson. This goes to Strong to the Smith. chin, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, G.A., right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Where was the defense? No help. You can't afford to give up these kinds of buckets. Gone 6 of 13 from the field, just under the 50% mark. It's deflected. It's Terry outside. Bangs on the trifecta. Terry's got six points. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Wildcats. Great hustle defensively through the first half. Contesting everything and racking up the block shots. There's something else they've done right from the get-go tonight is run. So much of their offense coming on the fast break. Now, here's Frank. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Now Bibby, out to the right wing. But three, no good from Fry. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. They get it again. Here's Smith. And a missed late. Arizona leading by six. 
Gordon dishes to Fry. Maybe against T. The pass to Elliott. Inside. Fades back. No good from Fry. Boy, against so little defensive pressure, you have to convert that. Let's it go from 11. That one off the back iron and out. Boy, a little indecisive. I think he wanted to kick it out, changed his mind, and ended up missing. Elliott passes to Gordon. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And I'll tell you this. The interior game of Aaron Gordon is coming along. He is looking more comfortable and more confident in there. Now, here is Smith. To the inside. Ward. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. He'd be with it. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. He kicks it to Terry. Passes it to Gordon. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at first the free throw line. Foul. First team foul. And this to me is where Aaron Gordon can excel. This guy embraces contact on the way up. Arizona the shooting their first free throws of the game. And one of the highlights last year for this group was the fact that they were so efficient from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. Shoot two. And he can't get the first one. There is some Blake Griffin, a younger Blake Griffin in Aaron Gordon, right? The explosive, ferocious forward takes pleasure in hammering it down. And he's good on the second. And so it's Gilbert Arena is making things happen for Arizona. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And the guys, uh, well, what's your take on Arizona so far? Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Total intimidation that first period. That is what has helped power them to this early lead. And the ball at 42%. So with Iguodala sitting on the bench, here's the group that Monty Williams has on the floor. Luke Walton is out there with Markinen. Then it's Rondé Hollis Jefferson. And there's Terry, and it's Stoudemire in at the point. Arizona leading by seven. Terry kicks to Stoudemire. In the corner, Hollis Jefferson. Out to Stoudemire. Here's the three. Rebound by Smith. Over to the left wing. Here's Teague. Hollis Jefferson with the rebound. Arizona shooting an outstanding 53% for the game. Stoudemire the pass to Hollis Jefferson. Out to Stoudemire. Now here's Hollis Jefferson. Five to shoot. To the paint. And marking in with the basket on the assist by Terry. And you look at the 2021 draft class. Just some unbelievable talent at the top. Away team. Cade Cunningham, for me, probably is the consensus best player. But, man, you got guys like Suggs and Green and Kaminga. This is checked in for Jason Terry. No one had more success at the foul line last season than this group of players. Number one, Chris Paul. And no doubt he finished the season right where he should have on that list. He was far and away the best free throw shooter in the league. Took him Rodney no time Rogers. at all on that one. Assisted by Al Farouk Aminu. A minute and a half gone here in the second quarter. Stoudemire the pass to Arenas. Here's Alice Jefferson. 
Left side marking it. Hollis Jefferson finds marking it. And marking it throws it down. That's about court awareness. Hollis Jefferson playing very well within the confines of this offense. Gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Pass to Rodgers. Quarter number two. We're about two minutes in. Pass to Duncan. Over Walton. No good from Duncan. Arizona leading by nine. Stoudemire left side. Arkin and down low. He's covered by Aminu. Being 39% from the floor. Not their best. Bogues against Stoudemire. Bogues the pass to Rogers. Duncan outside. And there's the pass to Bogues. Six on the shot clock. Yep, it counts. Chris Paul's got ten points. Well, you can't hesitate if you want to succeed in catch-and-shoot situations. Chris Paul, such a quick thinker. And Arizona decides to take in for Alpha Luka Minu. All right, a chance to look at the numbers for Paul. Last season, he played outstanding. He was around 16 points a game, nine assists, and four rebounds. And with his great passing, he's been a callus for their offense, often seeing plays even before they materialize. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Great anticipation, excellent peripheral vision. His talents are really shining through. Now here's Stoudemire. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Here's Bowes. And here is Paul. It's good. Now he's shooting six for seven. Well, despite pretty good defense, Chris Paul finishes the shot. That's about concentration and being locked in. And here's the break. Robbed up there for Collins. John. Up high to stop the alley. Yes. Uh, I'm Muggsy sure his Bowles. teammates love having a guy like Collins on the receiving end of those alley-oops. As fun an assist as you'll get. And he gets it to go. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Gone 4 of 7 from the field in this second quarter so far. Paul dishes to Bogues. To the middle. Here's Duncan. Beautiful dish, and the Jim layup Duncan. goes down. And Duncan just superb when he gets in close to the basket has a number of moves to choose from and that soft delicate touch near the rim now here's marking it Rodgers pulls it in stolen by marking it pass to Walton marking and trying to break loose and it's Walton missing gone five of eight from the floor here in the second quarter over 60 percent shooting and taken away by Arenas and now Arizona on the break. Shock up two there. Stoudemire's got his first points of the night. And that's how to make an impact with defense. Once the steal is made, you know they're going to be scattered. Paul passes to Collins. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. And I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. On the wing, Arenas. Down low. Here's Markinen. Tim Duncan grabs the miss. Duncan's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Bogues kicks to Paul. Wants to get it to Collins and does. The yeah, players ball. might have passed that shot. Not first Collins. He foul. stays aggressive first team and foul. draws the foul. It's his first Shooting trip to the away team. John Collins taking two shots. That free throw, no good. 
Uh, a mid-first round draft pick. Collins continues to make the teams that passed on him regret that decision. And it's a completely new group for Arizona. And he sinks the second. Arizona shooting 36% in the second quarter. They really haven't found their rhythm yet offensively here. Jefferson against Collins. Pass to Elliott for the three. Collins grabs the miss. And gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. Ball against Bibby. Pass to Horde. Driving to the basket. Can't tie it up as that one misses. Two minutes remaining. Arizona is shooting Two pretty minutes. well at 46% from the floor. Outside Jefferson. 151 left now here in the second. Here's Ayton. Back to Bibby. Iguodala the pass to Jefferson. Feeds to Ayton. Just five to shoot. A shake. And Ayton throws it down. What a fantastic offensive rebounder. Ayton so good at using his physical advantages. 132 left in the first half of basketball. Hall for three. It's hauled in by Arizona. Ayton's got six rebounds now in the game. Iguodala the pass to Elliott. Upside Jefferson. And there it is for Richard Jefferson. Jefferson's got his first two points of the night. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. Paul with the three. That's good again. His this seventh ball. basket. Seven three. for ten from the floor. This guy is putting his fingerprints all over the game in this quarter. He has flat out dominated the offensive end. Jefferson attacking and good that time. Jefferson. Jefferson's got four this quarter. They are just killing him on the interior. Outside Collins. Kicks it to Bogues. Back to Collins. Here's Paul. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Boy, what a strong take on the end. Chris Paul understands with a level of toughness, you One can make things happen. Two shots. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And, and over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. Catching up now on the changes for Arizona. Gordon's checked in for Iguodala. And it's Terry in for Bibby. One falls for Paul. Now Chris Paul has been successful at the highest level in the NBA on and off the floor for such a long period of time. I love his intellect, his work habits, everything he represents. Here is Elliot. Terry looking over the floor from past the arc. Ayton dishes to Terry. Drills it from outside. Terry's got nine. And that Terry jumper there, that's the shot capable of doing a lot of damage on the spot up or the pull up. Terry's got a great eye for that shot. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Wildcats lead by five. We're going to step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after our halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show.
we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. It's been a clinic by Chris Paul. He had a fast pass to the lane that first half. Got inside on demand. Now this guy is such a good finisher on the move. And so far, the defense has not been able to counter it. Third quarter action getting going right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All filled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. They've got Chris Paul. Dunking out there with John Collins. Then there's Rodgers. And it's Bogues in at the two-guard spot. Here's Jefferson. After the made shot from John Collins. And that one's good, Aiton. Well, you want to see DeAndre Aiton seek out the contact on the interior. Boy, he's a big-time talent. Outside to Bogues. Gets to the corner and buries it. Really good job there. That's the definition of the inside-out game. There's the pass to Arenas. To the middle. Goes to the reverse layup and puts it in. 16 points for Gilbert Arenas. Well, DeAndre Ayton is a team first guy, and boy, does he set up the open man. Arenas against Paul. Addition now to Duncan. Collins trying to break free. That one misses. And so Ayton will bring it up for Arizona. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. They're off to San Antonio after this game, bringing their show to the AT&T Center. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Oh, Ayton in position. Hammers the alley What a connection DeAndre Ayton has with these guys. Great timing on the alley Just over a minute and a half played here in the third. against Arenas. Paul passes to Duncan. Good. Duncan. Duncan's got his second ball. bucket of the night. Boy, everyone is getting to their spots and then capitalizing. Three for four in the quarter. Beautiful. Here's Aiton. And Aiton throws it down. Well, Mr. Aiton decides, why just lay it up when you can finish with authority? Gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the hand. To the paint. Here's Duncan. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got four assists in the game. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Iguodala kicks to Jefferson. Passes it to Stoudemire. Arenas against Bogues. Arenas can't hit. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. Arizona and there's the call on Jefferson. Richard that Jackson. is his first foul of the first game. Personal foul. Channing Fries checked in for Arizona. Checking in for the away team. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here on the Chris second Paul. half. Boy, we think of Chris Paul as the master of setting up teammates, but when he starts to cook, look out. Outside Jefferson. On the wing, it's Igudala. He's guarded by Collins. Stoudemire, the pass to Jefferson. Arizona moving the ball around. Shot clock at five. Arenas dishes the front. And Fry slams it in. That's making your presence felt on the interior. Fry with the aggressive throwdown. Paul kicks to Smith. Paul against Stoudemire. The feed now to Collins. And he makes that one. John Collins. Collins has got four points this quarter. And that's two tough points from Collins. Willing to mix it up down low. Pass to Fry. Stoudemire outside. Now Arenas. Back to Stoudemire. Outside Jefferson. From deep. And it's John Collins with the rebound. Collins has got four rebounds in this game. For the tie... Here's Duncan, and a good offensive Tim board, Duncan. and he gets the bucket. And it's now only a one-point Arizona lead, and Arizona calls time here. Taking some changes here. 
The Wildcats have gone five of seven from the field in the third quarter. Let's see if they can keep it up. And Fry has it in the corner. Back to Bibby. On the wing, Arenas. Pass to Elliott. To the inside. And he gets the whistle for Three. the That's second, second call. And, and those are the kinds of mistakes that are magnified when we're talking about a game down the stretch. Gone seven of nine from the field to start this second half. Some tremendous shooting from them. Smith against Arenas. Smith scanning the floor. And the layup's good off the glass. Smith's got his third basket of the night. They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. And guys, shot A comes to mind for me because right now that offense, it's a smooth operator. Arenas with the bucket. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Teague, the pass to Smith. Good work defensively by Arenas. The Wildcats have gone six of eight on field goal attempts in the third. A 75% clip. Three-pointer, Markinen, rebounded by Howard. Gotten eight of their 11 shots to drop since the break. A great third quarter for them offensively. And now Arizona in the break. Here's Elliott, the big dunk at the end of the break. A reverse fight at home. That was pretty. Agreed, the agility on display. 53% from the floor. They're locked in. Teague against Bibby. Stolen by Bibby. Here's Markinen outside for Arenas. The pass to Bibby. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. He dishes it to Markinen and stolen by Jeff Teague. and left in the third quarter. Smith with it, now defended by Markinen. And the whistle blows, it's going to be on Ishii Smith. That's his first foul. Yeah, way to get there on first the and be willing to absorb the contact. Catching up now in the changes for Arizona. Luke Walton's checked in for Fry. Gordon comes in for Lowry Markinen. And it's Terry in for Gilbert Arenas. And Terry up top, Bogues defending. Shot by Terry, no good. Here's Aminu. It's rebounded by Bibby. Maybe he rushes that just a little bit, who knows, but he couldn't have gotten a better look than that. And the basket by Gordon. Assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Now here's Teague. He's still scoreless so far in this one. to end the drought. He takes it up and lays it in. How dangerous in the pick and roll situation is Jeff Teague. He is such an excellent decision maker. Bibby passes to Elliott. Gordon against Howard. Passes it to Bibby. Outside Gordon. Five on the clock. It's Terry outside. And it's rebounded by T. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Dishes it to Johnson. He feeds it to Howard. And no good that time. Gordon with the defensive effort. Elliott passes to Gordon. Arizona moving the ball around. He couldn't It'll stay in bounds, and that's going to be a turnover. to the away team. Substitution for the away team. Here's Bowes. Al Paul going inside, and it's blocked by Gordon. How about the timing of Aaron Gordon? This guy has got the ability to rise up and send it back. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. 
It's the Wildcats. They're up by three. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, making the game easy for your teammates. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. Come on, fans. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. So with David Allen sitting on the bench, here's the group that Monty Williams has on the floor. Elliot is out there with Terry. Then there's Gordon. Then there's Aiton. And it's Jefferson in at the small forward position. Back to Gordon. Just four to shoot. Great D that time from Howard. Bogues with it. Here's Johnson. No luck. They battled on the glass, but couldn't knock it down. Arizona leading by three. Pass to Aiton. Here's Jefferson. It's good. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. Being 48% from the field. Not bad at all. Here's Bo. Howard trying to free himself up. Ball against Terry. He kicks it to Gordon. Shot from the top of the key. Offensive rebound. And taken away by Paul. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. No good that time. Gordon with the defensive effort. Outside Jefferson. Elliott against Bogues. Back to Terry. Right side, Gordon. That's only the first ball turnover, guys. He's been safe team as an option for them Coming at the offensive the floor for the away John team. Collins, he's checked in for the Magician. Gotten off to a rough start in the fourth quarter. Going over for four so far. Every time out, a chance to review the lineups and matchups or call a play. And the guys get a little bit of a break mentally, physically, just reach. Chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey guys, well, during the break, I was able to catch the message the visiting team coach gave to his team. He said, We're too concerned with their shooters right now. We've got to close off the inside. They are gutting us. He pleaded with his guys. Come on, let's take a stand. Kevin? Okay, David, thanks. I'll tell you, no matter what he does, he can't find his rhythm, and you get the sense he's starting to press a little bit. Jefferson with it, and it's Johnson picking him up. Here's Aiton, and Aiton throws it down. That gives him the double-double. Ten points and 12 rebounds. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA, it is definitely making a difference so far today. No doubt. On the scoreboard, in the body language of the players, you can tell which team is in complete command. Terry dishes to Aiton. Ball against Jefferson. Terry kicks to Stoudemire. Pass to Aiton. Rebound by Johnson. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Bogues the pass to Collins. Over to There's the call on James Johnson. Janice's first foul of the game. First personal foul. And this is how you use the mid range area. Collins keeping it simple and just taking what the D gives. Wildcats making a switch here. Arenas is checked in. 
Arizona leading by five. Stoudemire against Paul. Outside Jefferson. Aiton trying to break free. And that's part of his game. Love seeing Duncan just sky up there to reject shots. Does a great job of utilizing that wingspan along with his time. Not watching the line there. That would be a backcourt violation. Turnovers weren't a story for him early on, but that's changed. And now they're definitely having trouble keeping possession and momentum. Stoudemire against Paul. Stoudemire with a defensive effort. The Wildcats have gone just two of eight in this fourth quarter. The final quarter not treating them well so far. Arenas dishes to Aiton. Out to the right wing. Back to Jefferson. The pass to Arenas. Over Bogues. Arizona with another miss. And it didn't fall, but that's the kind of shot they want their offense to create. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. Yeah, and at 7-1, Duncan is a problem in the paint. Outstanding with his extension there and just hammering at home. Time out, time out. Time out. Time out. Time time here. Here's Arenas. Balance player of the game, DeAndre Ayton. Yeah, and his percentage from the field tonight, just amazing. He hadn't just been gunning. He, he's been picking his spots. And, and you need that kind of patience and discipline to shoot as well as he had. Arenas against Collins. Duncan with the block. Passes it to Bowes. Robbed up there for Collins. Throws down the alley-oop slam. And pressure doesn't get to Collins. Baskets like that prove how locked in he is. Now here's Arenas. Feeds it to Iguodala. Here's Stoudemire. Off the mark and the drop continues. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. Here's Paul. And the rejection by Eaton. Right now trying to get into a rhythm, but so far this quarter, boy, he is struggling to make anything go down. And he's a good shooter from outside, but not sure from that end. Boy, we're seeing it more and more. Guys looking to create additional space by stepping back further from the line. Here's Duncan. That's a six field goal today. And that makes him now six for 11. Game winding down, and they just keep changing leads. And guys, no separation yet. And I really don't think we're going to see any remaining all the way down. On the basket by Arenas. Well, you've got to earn trust and equity by making shots. Nice delivery there. Paul for three. Gets the three-pointer of the ball. Paul's got 23 points. If anything, you know you can count on Chris Paul to deliver in the clutch. He is so competitive, so tough. Arena's passes to Aiton. And it's good. Two points. Aiton's got the game title here for the Wildcats. Away team. Unafraid in the big moment. Nice delivery. And for Jefferson. Substitution for your Wildcats. Sean Elliott. 139 left to play here in the fourth. The ball is doubled. Kicks it to Bones. Pass to Collins. That's the three fly. He can't get it to go. And so Arizona will take it the other way. Their biggest lead of the game was not. Arenas against Bowles. Down to five on the shot clock. And deep Arenas. Good on the three-point shot. Now it's a three-point Arizona lead. What a great play. Totally screwed the defender on that one. Here's Paul inside. Here's Duncan. It falls. 
team time. And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. I'll tell you, it takes confidence to pull the trigger in that situation. You love guys who relish the moment. And here's Arenas outside. And they beat it back. Aiton kicks it over to Arenas. Elliott passes to Iguodala. Now Arenas covered by Duncan. And slam dunk by Arenas. And, and guys, that's not as easy as he made it look. You've got to have some skills to pull that off. Well, he's got plenty of those, yes. that's for sure. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? Our oh, oh, coaches stress the importance of defense. Big block there in this close game. And Willie Green wants a timeout. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Paul, oh, it's in! And that shot brings them to within just one. That's a statement from Chris Paul. He understands game is in the balance. It's my time. And that's an intentional foul. First personal foul. First team foul. And so it's Iguodala. He'll bring it up for the Wildcats. And oh, an intentional foul right there. You know what? Smart foul. First yeah, personal foul. Game. Second team foul. Along for your Wildcats. Gilbert Arenas. Two shots. First, and that will put them up by two. And so both free throws are good. And it's a three-point game. Well, those are essential free throws to make a three-point lead. It's going to take something from long range now to tie this game. Down low. The eight-footer. And no good. Trying to use the And now they foul. Team Stop Duncan. the clock. First personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for Arizona. DeAndre Ayton. Taking two shots. as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. I tell you, this guy already a double-double threat nightly, and DeAndre Ayton's ceiling is still high. Now he's got to go ahead and reach those expectations by putting in the work. And he ends up making the second, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Back to Paul. From deep three-point range, good. Uh, there's so much confidence in his ability to make range shots. Chris Paul knocks down the three. So we see the Wildcats get the win here. What a show they put out here at home tonight. I mean, these are those games that feel so great to win, and, and really, it's like a knife in the gut to lose. Uh, you, you gotta love being on edge of your seat and just wondering what's going to happen. How is this thing going to play out? And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Owens, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. So long and good night, everyone.